So we got this insertion type crankcase heater to replace on this cool air condensing it here for a walk-in box. So we're gonna get this done. What we gotta do before we put this in is check the resistance on this heater before we put it in because we want to make sure it's not shorted or open before we put it in the system and turn it on. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. Yeah, that looks good. So we're not worried about damaging this wire uh, because we have a whole new assembly. And the reason it's so tough to come out is because there's some thermal grease on there, basically uh, paste that helps conduct heat and that's what's making it a little bit tough to slide out. All right, so the new heater came with some thermal grease and we've coated the entire thing. We're gonna slide it back in and then we're gonna wire it up. It actually gets wired into the compressor compartment right here. And now we're gonna take an amp draw and test it out. So we got the new one in place and it came with a new plastic clip here. We're gonna shove that in and we're gonna have to get a rag just to clean up the residual paste here. And the design here kind of didn't help us out because this suction line goes right across and the crankcase heater came across and kind of nicked the insulation. So we're gonna have to repair this as well. So we have the new heater installed and it's wired into this compressor terminal and we are drawing 0.6 amps so the heater is working the way it should be. Uh, I don't have my thermal gun on me up here but you can feel a bit of a difference between the temperature uh, over here and, and kind of over here where the heater inserts into the, the compressor. So we need to let this run for a bit, warm up the oil. Uh, remove any refrigerant, liquid refrigerant that might be in the oil, boil it off before we even attempt to really run this machine. So guys, crankcase heaters are extremely important in a lot of different applications. Now you gotta remember that refrigerant likes to move to the cold locations of the system. So let's say for instance, we have a, a walk-in box uh, that is 40 degrees, okay? 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is colder outside. That refrigerant's gonna wanna move to the outside and it's gonna wanna hang out. Uh, at the condensing unit outside. So the crankcase heater gets inserted into the compressor, it keeps the oil warm, okay? Um, it also boils off the refrigerant, any liquid refrigerant from entering into that oil. So when we start that machine up, we are starting it up without liquid refrigerant in the oil. A lot of manufacturers, once you install their unit, before commissioning, they want that crankcase heater powered up for 24 hours beforehand, before they'll even come to site. That was a recip compressor we were working on, okay? Recips can get severely damaged from, from liquid. I've seen valve plates that are made out of metal um, just completely demolished by liquid refrigerant um, being pumped up the cylinder into the valve plate. Scroll compressors, yes, they can take a little bit, they can take a little bit more liquid, but a recip, I mean, you don't want any in there whatsoever. Crankcase heaters prevent this stuff from happening, failures from happening. Happy HVACing.